Uh, when did you last have sex then? Uh, funny you should ask me that question. It's about um, six o'clock this morning. This morning. Do you feel that sex is dirty? But it can be. Seven months, three days ago. I'm saving it for something very special. <laughs> Seven months, three days. It wasn't very good. You should have seen me in New York with Bob Krasner and lecture. I had no clothes on because I got caught in a thunderstorm. But then I, so I had no clothes on, got caught in a thunderstorm. I had my trousers, taking my shirt off. Well, she does into this room with um, him and Lundball at CBS, ex-CBS, in their suits and stuff, and they were very shocked. And they ordered us a limo to go home because it was pouring down the rain. So when we got to the door afterwards, about 8 o'clock at night, Bob Krasnow said, listen, uh, I know about your principles, but please, uh, please take the limo for tonight. And um, I was on my way to the limo anyway, you know, great. I said, listen, as Trotsky once said, while we fight to change life, let us not forget the reasons for living. And as he laughed, I jumped into the limo and went off down the road. Great. <laughs> The man knows too many quotes from too many tedious tomes for his own good. I think it tends to swamp a lot of what he's got to say, and I think it also takes the place of any kind of creative function. It's a pompous answer that now that we can take it seriously. Who is my hero? Who are my heroes today? They change every day. Pasolini's Jesus Christ. His major hero, early Hegelian Marx, second hero, Rob Gretton, Les Dawson, Ed Murrow, William Shakespeare, Marcel Proust, Bobby Robson when he heads a goal. I mean, I, they change every day. You, Julian, you, you, when your shoulder strap comes off at a concert, the, with the shoulder strap just moves off so nicely. You know what I mean? Did you plan that? No. We say you just back to the drama. No, I'm not sexy. I'm an aesthetician. I love beauty. They've all got bad haircuts. That's the trouble with factory. Yeah, Tony Wilson lies about his age. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to drown in here today. On my travels to the top. Do you think you've hurt anybody on the way? Intentionally or unintentionally? Being down so long, it feels like the top to me. <laughs> um, yes. <coughs> Do I have to wear makeup? Let's get down now, Larry. <laughs> Sometimes you don't like me, do you? No. Really? <laughs> so I think Tony's you can OK. say whatever you want. No, I know. I think, no, he, yeah. I think he's OK. We don't very often get on. No, you row a lot. You row we do. We row a lot. A hell of a lot, yeah. But right. I mean, I think that's... What do you row about? What Tony always rows about. What? Money. Mmm, money. Let's yeah. talk about money. This is, this is very interesting. Yeah, you're all getting... It's got nothing to do with the... Quality of the music, has it the money? Remember. <laughs> <laughs> now, technically speaking, you've had slightly more money than you've made, haven't you? I don't know. Well, you see, the business record business functions by securing your investment, which is to secure your talent. So you sign people for seven-year deals and stuff. But we're only doing this for fun. In the end, I mean, it's an old Jake Rivera thing. Uh, you do it. For, that's all it's about, fun. And you're doing it for fun and, for, and with integrity and stuff. Now. If we had a contract with you, what's that going to do? It means you're signed to us. What happens if, you don't, if, if we all go off each other? You should be able to go away. So there's no point having a contract. As long as we're all friends, you've got to stay. As long as we're not friends, you've got to go. Which seems the right way to look at going and staying. So is it true that you've made the um, most money out of factory? Yeah. <laughs> Would you still like to be uh, a director of factory records? Nah, it's not worth the trouble. Was it worth the money? Did you get a good deal out of that record? Or a bad deal? What can I say? It's only the best deal yet. But it's still not good enough. Most of all, like what my mother always said, you know, be a nice boy. I'd like to, be, <laughs> I'd like to when all this is over, still be a nice boy. Right? And that's the, that's the most important ambition. And I'd like to see the revolution in my lifetime. <laughs>
Oh, the best, oh, the best wow. is when he used to wear cowboy boots at the old factory. Oh, yeah, the cowboy yes. boots. We used to have a pair that we thought were rather like it, so we used to exhibit them. They were quite the centerpiece of the mantle. Oh, I know, so, yeah. The cowboy boots. Dress the haircut. Yeah. He's moved what you look like, though. When you look at you, people could be saying that. Ah! Well. Mm.